And so began the name calling. And amongst the, the name calling, there's actually a lot of names that the Prophet ﷺ was accused with. And as the Quraysh gathered together, they said, what should we call him? And all of these names at a certain point, they had accused him of. The first one was Al-Kahin, the soothsayer, basically like a fortune teller. And so they called him a Kahin and they would go around telling people that he's a Kahin. They called the Prophet wasallam a Sha'ir, a poet, someone who just comprised some lines of poetry and now he's presenting it to the people claiming that he's a Prophet. They called the Prophet wasallam a Sahir, a magician. And in fact, this was one of the out of the different names that they had used against the Prophet ﷺ, this was the one that they focused on most. Because when people would convert to Islam, when people would come back and listen to the Prophet ﷺ, they would say that they've, they've fallen under a, a spell. And, they've, and that he's divided the families just like a magician divides the family. They told, they, um, they claimed that the Prophet ﷺ, obviously witchcraft, is a totally different science. It's about blowing on knots. It's like voodoo and all of those things, the black magic that you hear. And everyone knew that the Prophet ﷺ had nothing to do with that. In fact, at one point, there was the story of a man whom, when he came to Mecca to, you know, uh, you know, to grant, give his respects to the Kaaba, they had told him that there's this man named Muhammad who's a complete you know, he's mentally ill, he's a magician, he'll throw like witchcraft on you, he's possessed by devils. And so he, and this man, he said, um, and this is actually in Sahih Muslim, he said, I was so afraid and that I would go around the Kaaba and he would say something to me, just whisper it behind my back or something like that, and I would fall under the spell. He said, so much so that I wanted to take like cotton and stuff my ears while I circumambulated the Kaaba while I was doing tawaf. And so this man, he saw the Prophet him sitting in the courtyard reading Quran. And so every time he passed by, this man was actually a doctor, and he was from a, a big tribe. He said, he started feeling pity for Muhammad him. And as every time he went by and he saw him, he said, you know what? I've heard the statements of all the soothsayers. I've heard, I've, I've dealt with People have been possessed, people have been, you know, afflicted by devils and jinns. And so he said, I'm going to help him. And he finished like his tawaf and then he went to the Prophet him, and he said to him, I'm a doctor. I hear you're sick. I hear you like mentally, you've, you know, you're possessed by jinns. And I want to help you. The Prophet him, responded to him. By saying, Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu, wa nasta'inuhu, wa nasta'hdi, man yahdi allahu, fa huwa al-muhdad, wa man yudlil, fala hadiya la, wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah, wahdahu la sharika la, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu rasul. This man then said to him, he said, Can you say that again? <laughs> the Prophet said it again. In Alhamdulillah, verily all pr praise belongs to Allah. We praise Him, we seek His help. Whoever Allah guides, there's no one that can misguide them. And whoever Allah allows to go astray, nobody can guide them aright. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and I bear witness that I'm the Messenger of Allah. This man, he said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasul. He said, I swear by Allah that I've heard the statements of the magicians, those possessed by devils, the jinns, the crazy. He said, I swear by Allah, this is not the words of those who are possessed. And so began the name calling of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And you're getting a little glimpse that nobody came to Mecca except that they heard and of the backbiting and the slander that was against the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.